this video is going to very quickly summarize extrapyramidal symptoms. We'll start off by talking about acute dystonia, which is persistent and painful muscle contractions. It typically starts a couple hours after taking an antipsychotic. So when it comes to treating acute dystonia, you want to give anticholinergics. Two good options to consider are benztropine, which is known as cogentin, and then uh, diphenhydramine, brand name Benadryl. Next up, we have akathisia. Akathisia is basically restlessness that becomes incredibly distressing to the patient. Typically occurs a few weeks after starting an antipsychotic. For these patients, there's a couple different routes you could take. The first of which is potentially decreasing the dose of the antipsychotic. Another of which is starting a beta blocker such as propranolol. You can consider a benzo in the short term to see if that helps with their symptoms. And then you can also try uh, cogentin. Next up, we have Parkinsonism. So this includes a tremor, shuffling gait, postural instability, and some cogwheel rigidity. This also occurs within weeks of starting an antipsychotic. Some treatment options include decreasing the dose of the antipsychotic they're on as well as some anticholinergics. And you can also consider a dopamine agonist like amantadine, which is a medication used in the treatment of Parkinson's disease. Lastly, we have tardive dyskinesia, and this is involuntary repetitive body movements. So typically this includes, but isn't limited to grimacing, patients sticking their tongue out, lip smacking is a very common one. So generally this will occur within months of starting an antipsychotic. A few different treatment options here. You can decrease or discontinue the dose of an antipsychotic. You can consider a antipsychotic which will cause less EPS. One of these is clozapine, and uh, this is something one should be careful when prescribing. Clozapine comes with its own side effect profile, so it's important to really consider what the patient prefers in this instance. You can also try anticholinergics like cogentin and valbenzene, which is known as ingretza, so this is a VMAT2 inhibitor, and this can also help with their symptoms of tardive dyskinesia. When it comes to memorizing the EPS, I like to use the mnemonic ADAPT, and then it comes down to just memorizing the timeline, and then the appropriate management of that symptom. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below.